Hi and welcome to the second video of um, Accounting for Share Capital. So in the first one, we looked at the basics, the concept and the share issue process. So there we saw how um, exactly shares are issued. So if you have still not watched that, I recommend you to check that out. Uh, just click here to uh, open that video and watch it a few times until you understand it completely, because only then this problem that we are going to do now will make sense. So now we video on Nodi Landre Igle Cardinal Click Mari Nodi. Now Arushi Computers Limited issued 1,000 equity shares of 100 each at a premium of 10, and the payable amount is 20 on application, 50 on allotment. And out of that 50, 40 is allotment amount and the remaining uh, 10 rupees is the premium. Okay. And then first call 30 and second call, uh, second and final call 10. Okay. So let's go with the first entry for the receipt of application. So for this, what we are going to do is the company is receiving cash. So bank will be debited. So debit what comes in and then it is for share application. So we are going to credit share application. Okay, so the problem says um, it's for 10,000 equity shares and the application money is 20. So the amount will be 10,000 into 20, which is 2 lakhs. Okay, so that is the first journal entry. Now, the second one will be for the transfer of the share application to the share capital and the way we do it is by debiting share application it has a credit balance now we are going to close it by debiting it and then we are creating share capital account so it is um, equity share so it's preferable to write to equity share capital and it will be the same amount so that's two lakhs so first thing i thandre namge bank ge hana bandide so that's the receipt of share applications so next now adanna a share application credit balance na now close maadi a balance na share capital ge transfer maartivi so iga share capital account create aitu now third entry um it's for allotment so allotment money becomes payable once the shares are allotted right and the way you um enter that is you debit share allotment and you credit share capital to equity share capital so share allotment money is totally 50 okay so 50 into 10,000 shares so that will be 5 lakhs now in that allotment money 10, 10 rupees is actually premium so 10 rupees should go to securities premium and the remaining 40 will go to the share capital so, half purti 50 bandu share capital go gala ya kandre, atrupai bandu atrali premium. So, they can now securities reserve ke atrupai na transfer marti. Securities reserve premium. So, 10 into 10,000 will be 1 lakh. And the remaining 40 into 10,000 shares will go to equity share capital. Okay. Now, the allotment money was also received because the problem does not uh, mention anything about not being paid. So we'll enter that one as well. So bank kandre namge receipt akti de. So hana barti de. So adike bank na debit maadti vi. And credit maadad bandhu share allotment. So yiga share allotment account kuda close agutta. So complete 5 lakhs. Okay. Yiga. Next bandhu first call. So first call becomes payable. So the way you'll do it is share first call debit to equity share capital credit. That is 30 rupees. So 30 rupees for 10,000 shares, which will be 3 lakhs. Okay. And even that was paid because nothing is mentioned about not being paid. So they can be bank debit receipt of cash so the three lakhs and e uh, asset now close mart tv to share first call okay. ega share second call so share second and final call and you will credit to share capital I'm sorry, I should write equity share capital. So it's always preferable to use this, what was mentioned here, equity shares. So write as equity share capital and keep it uniform. So that is 10 rupees. So 10 rupees into 10,000 shares will be 1 lakh. 
Okay, so now let's look at the problem. It says a shareholder holding 200 shares didn't pay the final call and his shares were forfeited. So if he did not pay, that means for 200 shares, the final call was not paid. So that means for the remaining shares, which is 9,800 shares, so 200, 10,000 minus 200, 9,800 shares, the final call was paid. So bank account now debit marbutu in 9,800 into 10. Final call. So 98,000 and credit bundu share second and final call. Okay. So, this is the length of 98,000. Next, um, we have to forfeit the shares. So, the way you will forfeit is, as I said, just keep in mind, forfeit means you are cancelling. And the way you cancel is just reverse all the entries that you have done. So, naturally, we have given credit balance to share capital, assuming that this shareholder will pay all the amounts. But now, it turns out that he has not paid the final call. So, we are going to cancel his entire share capital. So the way you cancel share capital is by debiting it because it already has a credit balance. So share capital, so equity share capital, debit to, okay. So here what you do is you'll have to enter the called up amount. So 200 shares and how much has been called so far? It's the final call, which means the whole uh, cost of the share has been called, which is 100. So just keep in mind, we are not going to bother with the premium because he has already paid the premium. So we are not going to touch it. So it's like a loss for the shareholder. So now we premium na touch madala. So a shareholder e premium na cut buti dhane, but own gya loss agutte. So ad namathra na idhbudte. Andher company athra. So illi share capital ge um, called up amount na now multiply mad beko. So 200 into 100 shares. So that will be 20,000. Okay. To forfeited shares atwa share for feature account okay here you have you can only forfeit what he has already paid right so naturally that will be the paid up amount so 200 shares into how much he paid he has paid everything except the final call so he has actually paid 90 rupees so as i said just forget the premium it does not it, it should not be considered because it's a loss for him he has already paid it so the call uh, paid up amount is 90 so 200 into 90 will be 18,000. And then here we have given a debit to the call, assuming that he's uh, all the shareholders are going to pay, but now he's not going to pay, which means there is an excess balance of 2000 because we gave a debit of 1 lakh and then it was credited to 98,000 because only the remaining people paid, which means the remaining 2000 is still there. Now this is what we are going to close. Okay, so share second and final call 2000. So the way we arrive at 2000 is 200 shares forfeited and forfeited for non payment of final call, which is 10. So 200 times 10 is 2000. Okay, so for feature, I'm going to. And the last point is out of these 150 shares were reissued at 75 per share. Okay, so when shares are reissued, what's happening? The company is getting cash. So naturally, we'll debit bank account. Now, what the problem says is 150 were reissued at 75 per share, which means the company has received 170 into 75. So that will be 11250. So it has obviously issued at a discount of 25 per share because they are issued as fully paid. Okay. So the discount will be used from this for feature uh, for feeded shares account. So we have a balance of 18,000. So that will be used as the discount. So what we'll do is this has a credit balance. So we'll be debiting it here. So the balance, the discount that has been allowed is 3,750. Okay. Two equity share capital so that is 15,000 shares as fully paid so that will be sorry 150 shares as fully paid so that will be worth 15,000 okay so that's done so now finally we'll have to transfer the profit to the capital reserve okay 
Now, the way we'll do that is now forfeited shares account has a um, credit balance. So the profit should be transferred to the capital reserve account. And the way you will transfer a credit is by debiting it. So forfeited shares. Debit to capital reserve. Okay, now, now comes the part where we have to determine how much we are going to transfer. Okay, we cannot transfer the whole balance in the forfeited shares account, we can only transfer the proportionate balance. So now, other than 3750 uh, discount, I guess, so balance is not the out of 200 shares, only 150 were reissued, which means the profit realized only on these 150 shares should be transferred. The remaining will just remain in the forfeited shares account. Okay, so now we have to determine the profit on this 150 shares. So the way we do that is, so the total forfeited shares were 18,000, uh, the value. So the 18,000 was for how many shares? 200 shares, because 200 were forfeited which means that for each share it is 90 rupees so 90 rupees is what was um, there in the forfeited shares account per share now we have issued only 150 shares which means for 150 shares the balance in forfeited shares account is 90 into 150 okay so 90 into 150 will give us 13,500 okay so this is the actual profit on the 150 shares out of this we cannot call this profit so this is the we can say the balance so out of this 13 so this is the maximum discount that we could have allowed on those 150 shares so out of this amount we have allowed a discount of 3750 which means Whatever remains is a profit and that goes to the capital reserve. So this will be transferred to the capital reserve. 9,750. Okay. Now, what is the balance in the forfeited shares account? So 90 was for each share. Now we have issued of 150 shares, which means the remaining shares are 90 into uh, 50. And this is the balance cap uh, transfer to capital reserve. Okay, so now the forfeited shares account only had an entire balance there. Now, we had three thousand seven fifty nine discount. I use mark on the TV, but a full balance in our capital reserve get transfer. Madakagala, other full number profit. A lot. I can drain our forfeit. Marit to in your share galu, but transfer. Marit rather, I mean, reissue. Marit rather, but no rival to. So, a new arrival to get a profit in a new candidate. Beko. So, they can get it even then. I didn't share a bundle in your shares. Ke. So, one share gauge to balance it for fitted shares and 90. So, 18,000 divided by 290. Bandhu. So, 90 one share gandre new arrival share get 13,500. So, ish to balance it. No arrival share get 13,500. So, Miki Rad Bandu uh, in Iwat share get. Um, 13,500 only now would discount ag use madira do bari 3,750. So, ira balance, deduct madaga bara balance, nam ge profit on reissue of shares. So, a 9,750 na now capital reserve ge transfer madhivi. And the remaining shares, which is um, 50 shares. So, 150 oi thandra inna 50 shares ide. A 50 shares ge one dundu kuira balance bandu 90 rupees alam. A 90 into 50 madaga nam ge barad bandu forfeited shares account balance. Okay, so this is a problem uh, where we have dealt with the reissue of forfeited shares at a discount. So in the next video, we'll do a slightly more difficult problem. Uh, with that, it should be completely clear for you. Uh, so still, if you have any questions in this problem, feel free to leave a comment below and I'll get back as soon as possible. But other than that, as I said, if you're not understood, make sure you watch the previous video because there I've explained all these journal entries in detail. And also do check out the next video that I'll be posting because uh, that will be a little more complicated problem. And if you understand that, it will be very easy for you. Anyway, no dike tumba thanks. Nano previous video nakura no deal click madi and the next video of Tinala the Nakura no di so abagnimge inu chanagar tagute. Anyway, thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video.